Welcome to this video about my final project. I've chosen to make a web application and uh, this application is able to take skin fold measurements such as the one we see in this picture as input and then output calculations such as body fat percentage, which might be useful for you if you're into tracking your body composition. Uh, let's have a look at the code. So. The application is mainly two files here, an, a Python file and an HTML file. And the Python file is uh, going to handle the backend stuff and the HTML file is uh, going to define all the visuals. So in the Python file I've imported Flask, which is a module that handles HTTP requests and template rendering, stuff like that you need in web application and it makes it much easier. PyGal is a module that uh, can make graphs and it makes for good looking graphs and they're easy to put into websites. So I've imported that as well. And uh, what the application here does is that I've well, defined a few functions that are going to do the calculations and I've defined some lists that is going to hold the data that's going to be put in by the user in the application. And then there's the main function here. And what it says is that if something is posted from the website, then all the data is going to be retrieved, it's going to be saved as variables, and um, some calculations are going to be made. The functions here are going to be called, and um, the calculations and uh, the input data is going to be um, added to the lists that we saw above. And then that data is going to be used to create two charts here, as we can see. And uh, if all goes well, then um, um, index.html which is the one over here is going to be rendered and uh, we can see it, and it's going to carry over um, some variables here uh, and the index.html file well really uh, the first part here to the left in the what's going to be the left of the website just defines a input form where you could input data and you can submit it and um, the right side is going to show all the results, it's going to show our two graphs, and it's going to show a table um, with the, all the input information. And what's pretty cool about Flask is that uh, it enables you to use a Python-like language in the HTML file. So here I've created a for loop um, that uh, loops over a list and puts each sublist into a table row. So it enables me to create a, a dynamic website. Let's try and run this application. So I just run it in the terminal like we normally do. And uh, we can see here that, that now Flask is uh, serving um, the application on this address. So let's try and visit this address in the browser. And as you can see, this is the web application that's been hosted on this address. We have the entry form on the left and the results on the right. Let's try and input some data. So I'm just going to input some fairly random data. Hit submit. Let's uh, maybe add one more three weeks later. And uh, these were some higher measurements we can see. So um, we can see that the two inputs here are uh, in the table and um, we can see the data visualized here in the graphs. And uh, the graphs are uh, nice and interactive. We can highlight the things we're interested in. We can turn off things we're not interested in. Um, and uh, the same goes for the other graph over here. So this is basically the application. Uh, there's not much more to it. What uh, the next step would be is probably to bring the application online. Um, right now it's hosted locally on my computer and uh, when I turn off the server uh, the data is going to be lost. So I would want to bring it online and uh, I would uh, want to uh, use a online database that I can send to and retrieve from. That would also enable me to um, incorporate users. So uh, a user would be able to log in and uh, see their own data um, and maybe edit in that data if they would like to. Um, so yeah, that's my application. I hope uh, you like this video. Uh, goodbye.